Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. <sighs> Oops. I forgot about the water pressure. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I'm good to flow, thanks. Otter power? I'm so not there. I need to get dressed before I go there. Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. No book here. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. Sorry, Mom. I can make my bed whenever I want. Booyah. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate really has a doting father. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful, and why did she cover up the mirror? If she can't look at herself? Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. 
Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Ouch. She left out amnation. Good lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything when David harassed me yesterday? I wanted proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And, and. And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? 
If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. I better not get near the bench or the squirrel won't take the food. Yes, another Pulitzer for the portfolio.